using that to show you, okay, you're light. And when you come in, you expose, you don't need to tell a homosexual, oh, you are gay. He know he gay. No, it's how you live as you walk in the light. So he's got to give you a picture of sin as darkness. And you're what? Light. There you go. Romans 13, verse 12. We also see this in Acts 26, verse 18. And in John 3, verse 19. Sin is also sometimes pictured as the hardness of heart. We see this in Mark 16, verse 14. Ephesians 4, verse 18 through 19. We see this in Deuteronomy 15, verse 7. And in Hebrews 3, verse 15, where it says, While it is said today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts, even as when they provoked me. Don't harden your heart against the Lord. This sin is also pictured as corruption or perversion. Look at Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 9, Proverbs 15, verse 4, Leviticus 18, verse 23. Sin can be pictured as bondage. Bondage. It says in Romans 7 verse 14, we know that the law is spiritual, spiritual, but I am of flesh sold into the bondage to sin. Romans 6 verse 12, therefore let, let sin reign in your mortal body so that you obey its lusts. Proverbs 5 verse 22 His own iniquities will capture the wicked and he will be held with the cords of his sin. Look at John 8 verse 34 where Jesus said, Jesus answered and said to them, Truly, truly I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a doulos, a slave of sin. Sin can also be pictured as leaven. You see that in Galatians 5 verse Galatians 5 verses 7 through 9 You were running well who hindered you from obeying the truth this persuasion did not come from him who calls you a little leaven leavens the whole lump of dough you see this in 1 Corinthians 5 verses 6 through 7 you see this in Luke 12 verse 1 beware of the leaven of the Pharisees which is hypocrisy Sin can also be pictured as poison. We see that in James 3 verse 8. Romans 3 verse 13 where it says, Their throat is as an open grave. With their tongues they keep deceiving. The poison of asp is under their lips. Sin can also be pictured and seen as a wild animal. In Genesis 4 verse 7 it says, If you do well, will not your countenance be lifted up? And if you do not well, sin is crouching at the door. And its desire is for you, but you must master it. Sin can also be pictured as falling and stumbling. We see that in Proverbs 4, 4 verse 19. Malachi 2 verse 8. And 1 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 13. Sin can also be pictured as wandering off the path and straying. We see that in Ezekiel 14 verse 11 and Isaiah 53 verse 6 and in 2 Corinthians 11 verse 3. Now let's get into what are some of the types and categories of sin. Okay, there's sins of commission and omission. Now the sins of commission are acts that people commit that are morally wrong like this. They steal, they lie, they murder, they worship an idol, they break a direct command of God, they violate a pro prohibition, or they directly advance an evil goal. Now, sins of omission are acts that people should have done but did not do. They did not defend the defenseless. They did not give thanks to God. They did not help a person in need. They don't believe God's promise. They are inactive when they should be active, unconcerned when they should be concerned, and uninvolved when they should be involved. An example of this is the Pharisee in the parable of the Good Samaritan. Okay, 
Okay, as we look at types and categories of sin, sin can also be the sins of willing, willfulness and ignorance. Now, willfulness, this you would see in James 4, verse 17, or in Luke 12, verse 47 through 48, John 15, verse 22, and Romans 1, verse 32. It can also be looked at as uh, ignorance, which we see in Hebrews 9, verse 7, Acts 17, verse 23, and Ephesians 4, verse 18, and let's, let's not forget Romans 1, verse 20. Um, in the categories of sin, sin, sins of action, word, and thought. Actions are more obvious since the Ten Commandments and other verses emphasize them. Anytime scripture gives a command related to an action and it is not carried out, that is the sin of the action. You see this in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 17 verse 5. Then you shall bring out that man or that woman who has done this evil deed to your gates that is the man or that woman you shall stone them to death you see this in Colossians 1 verse 21 and although you were formerly alienated and hostile in mind engaged in evil deeds so actions also in words which we see in Psalm 39 verse 1 first Peter 20 first Peter 2 verse 22 Psalm 59 verse 12 Proverbs 30 verse 32 and Ephesians 4 verse 29 we see them in thoughts and desires which is in Exodus 20 verse 17 Isaiah 29 verse 13 Jeremiah 9 17 verse 9 Mark 7 verse 21 through 23 and James 1 verse 15 Okay, now, I'm going to uh, stop right there. We will be under the categories uh, and types of the way of sin. And we will next time start, and start where it talks about repentant and unrepentant sins. We will go on and we will talk about um, the definitions of uh, sin to kind of help us understand that. Some false definitions of sin. Um, so we'll discuss, you know, uh, evolutionary um, thoughts of it, secular humanism, self-esteem. There is just some good stuff that we're going to th talk about. And as over the time, I'm just going to flip through these notes here and show you. We'll talk about the theodicy and the origin of sin. We will talk about the human sin nature. Um, as we get on, we'll talk about in lesson four, I believe, um, the extent of sin. All right, right now, I'm going through lesson one. It is a lot of information. So you're going to have to keep up. If you can, play back these clips that I got. Download them at your convenience. Take the notes. So you can go back and research these things. You're going to have to do this. You know, lesson five, we'll talk about the consequences of sin. Lesson six will talk about the deception and dominance of sin. We also will get into lesson seven, this psychology, psychology's blindness to sin. And I believe I have in here lesson eight somewhere. Um, I'm looking for it. Mm. Yeah, in lesson eight, I will talk about the remaining sin in regenerate man. So this is going to be great, good stuff here. Um, also, um, when I find it, I have some other um, things of, of, of my uh, theology class that I will be sharing with you as well. And I'm going to put it up on the web. I'm going to try and get everything that I possibly can to you um, so that we can learn the Word of God in times where people want to turn away from the Word of God. So, we will pick up next time talking about uh, regenerate and unregenerate. This has been Difference Maker saying to you from the Dallas Cowboy Studio slash office, God bless. Stay into the Word of God.